I was optimistic that you have a couple of bumps and bruises, but they're not going to be permanently disfigured or even, or even killed. And then when it happens to you, it's, uh, there's no waypoint out there. There's no, there's no direction. There's nothing that, that tells you what your life's going to uh, be like once it happens. And so it really is a journey of the unknown. Not that I ever hid my joy or my passion for photography, but, but no one really kind of understood how important it was in my life. I've always taken a camera almost, you know, everywhere I've gone. And um, with, the, with the damage that I sustained to my, my right arm and ultimately my hand, I didn't know whether or not I was ever gonna be able to hold a camera again. The first thing is um, I remember um, really just kind of buying a simple camera because um, I didn't have enough strength to hold my, my uh, SLR. I just wanted to be able to capture you know, what I saw. My son playing football, my daughter playing field hockey. I really started to use photography to challenge my my growth as a photographer, but also to challenge myself just to, to live life, to re-engage in life. So photography is literally connected to everything, you know, I do. I mean, I just, whether it's diving, whether it's cycling, I've got a camera with me, attached to me. In my prosthetics, I'm not consistently stable enough to compose and take photos and so my my preferred platform is to be in my wheelchair or, or be on something where I'm sitting and so my point of view in the world was lowered about about 18 inches or so I'm not wedded to any one particular subject the environment landscapes buildings architecture people flowers whatever It's a challenge a little bit sometimes to, to capture what I see, like I see something and, and then so I've got to uh, maneuver myself, I've got to adjust controls on the camera to, to capture what I'm seeing, the meaning of what I'm seeing. So um, I'm just kind of taking in life and, and, uh, and these snapshots.